So, I felt like playing this old game. What is this old game, you might ask? Well, this is a game that uh, one day my dad brought home. My dad was really into shmups. And so this is, uh, this is what we call a nonsense fantasy. It's based off Gradius. It's like parody Gradius. I loved playing as the octopus or the penguin. So, we're gonna go penguin. Oh, I should have gone manual. It doesn't matter. Alright, anyway. You'll see what this game is about very quickly. But I was in the mood for it. And it's something pretty isolated that I can get through, I think. In one sitting. Alright. I should have gone manual. I think automatic does weird stuff, but anyway, it's fine. But yeah, uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. I'm not gonna say I hope you've been enjoying, because this is just a one-off thing, I think. I forgot what the colors do. Oh yeah, right. Garlic breath! No sushi tonight! Teeth in my soup! Noted, thanks. No parking here! Bed and breakfast? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a strange game, but I, I love it. I got Bab. I should have had- uh, I regret not picking manual. It's okay. I just remember this, yeah, playing this for the first time, it was just such a weird experience. Especially because my, my dad picked it, it was just, I, if you look at the cover art for this, it's just very anime, and I just would never have expected him to pick something like this, you know? Oh yeah, green is grow big, alright, there we go. The level design is fun, it is great. I guess maybe that was the thing, just the ridiculous nature of it. He did see the Vic Viper was involved in that, so that's why I thought it was great. <laughs> I forgot about the belly button. Oh, man. Music makes me happy. Belly button is a normal weak spot. I guess if you have an Audi. I can't relate, I have an innie. the spread, actually. Oh, right, the flying chickens. I 
Man, Konami games just had such a good soundtrack. <laughs> the clown. And then just, you know, remixing classic music. Ah, oh, shit. I took a hit. <laughs> it's that guy. Did not see that tiny bullet. Bomb. Out of all the stages, Messiah, which did you think uh, was the coolest? I kind of like the next stage a lot. Is it the next stage? I think it's the, it's the one where it's just... There's a bunch of little ball things to destroy. And you just set off bombs in there. I also didn't mind the bathtub level because it was just so weird. Get candy. Alright. I need. Thank you. Lock me, baby! Luck? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Any speed limits? Where's my wallet? Shaving is boring! No sushi tonight! I hope that's not a euphemism. Ugh, this... I did not like this boss. For this reason. It's just so stressful. Ah, penguin. <laughs> I hate this fight. It's not even a fight, you just have to avoid her. Got it. All right, America bird. Forgot about the bird. It's it's been I have I have not played this game in a very long time. Yeah, I think I I need movement. America bird. is cooked. 
any speed limits. Shaving is boring. Got a stink foot. <laughs> Just don't... Where's my wallet? Oh, not good. Okay, I need I need blue. Shit! Ah, I was going too quickly. I hate speed up because at a certain point it's just a liability. Speed up. Yeah, this is the stage I'm thinking of. I like the stage. I mean, this, this track. Oh, I might have to go green. Okay. Go, go, go. Green's not bad either. I love this stage. Okay, now I need I need it again. You know, oh no, forgot about I oh, forgot about them. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, I'll go Twin B. We'll see a bit of the other characters. No, this game is great. I love it. Uh, it's called Parodius. Parody Gradius. Please. Oh, for <laughs> I have not played this in so long, I keep... Dying to shit that I forget about. It's like, right, they come from behind. I guess these, these are candy. I mean, that to me looks like a virus, but it could be something else. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh shit! I don't mind this. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Fucking snipe me, dick. Ah, uh, I got greedy. Ugh. Inner child was screaming at me right there. But come on, dude, you're better than this. Da da. There we go. There, there we go. Oh my god, alright. Yeah, I'm not going for that, that's just... asking for problems. Lock me, baby! All light now. Any speed limits? Noted, thanks. Any speed limits? 
so weird. Alright, now we've got momentum. Oh, crap, I remember this. I don't remember the pattern, but yeah, they're gonna come flying at me. We got this, we got this, we got this. Nice, and a life for my efforts. I do like that stage, despite how salty it just made me. Damn it, I missed it. Just remind that of some of the insane sprites that are in this game. What stage is this? This is the love stage, I think. No. Right, there. I forget you can't have force field unless you have bomb. Gone. I hated these volcanoes, chat, because they throw eggplants at you, and as you know, eggplant was, uh, not a great part of my childhood. Let's just... Let's just say that. They, I, I was so afraid that it was going to hit me with an eggplant, and then that killed me. Okay. There we go. I think tail gun would probably be useful in this stage. I don't like eggplants. I get really sick if I have it. So, as a kid, my uh, my mom cooked it twice for me and my brother. And both times, like, we... You know how, if you don't like something, I mean, even by force, you can probably still eat it. This was, like, immediate gag reflex triggered. And then afterwards, we just felt sick. So, you know, she... Tried twice and then was like, oh no, this is too much this is too much of a hassle. I'm never making this again for them. And then a few years ago, um, I bought this this ravioli that was on special. It was vegetarian, right? I was like, oh, I don't mind. It's like it'll probably have cheese in it and yeah. In my mind I was like, it's probably like a pumpkin ravioli or maybe like a a cheese and uh Spinach, something along those lines, right? So I ate this ravioli, and then later in the evening, I just felt so sick. Like, I felt like something was draining me, and I just, I threw up. And I checked the ingredients, I checked, well, the expiry date first, the expiry was fine. I then checked the ingredients, and sure enough, eggplant. <laughs> so it wasn't all in my head as a kid. Genuinely, it causes, uh, my stomach to get really, really upset. Damn it. It's the, it's the only food that not even by force I can eat it. It's just... Maybe an allergy. Potentially. I mean... A mild allergy. Thankfully. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, we need ripple shot. Got it. Nice. Ah, I forgot! <laughs> Fuck. Ah, the stupid tree. Oh, I had the ripple laser as well.
All right, just do this. Ugh. Nah, option. Okay, go, 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 go. That's still not bad. We'll go tail gun here. What's the game called? Parodius. There are the eggplants. Look at how happy the volcano is in the background. <laughs> I just, I love the bosses in this game. They're all just so ridiculous. No, the music makes me happy. It's this, this nostalgia for me. This is one of the few games we owned. So, but it was a good one. Okay, now we stop to ripple. Try not to be too greedy. Do you want to talk about weird bosses? Captain Kebab. Oh crap. Oh. I got this. Ah, Captain Kebab is sad. This was... I can't remember if this was the spot. Alright, oh, clench. Trying to angle these. It's hard. Got it. Alright, there we go. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm tempted to 100% up in there. <laughs> I'm good. I choose to live.
All right, yeah. <laughs> Just. <laughs> oh dear. There's so many jokes I want to make right now, but I'm just, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I did remember to pick up the correct weapon, though. I never understood the sad dude on, on the moon there. <laughs> it's just so creepy. Because it's not the boss. It's just some sad man. Powerful state now. Now it's just a case of don't mess up. Oh, this stage is great too. I love this stage. I wasn't a fan of the Octra. It just didn't provide as much protection as some of the other stuff. The stage can be hard to navigate because it's just there's so much projectiles going on. Crap, I went past it. Oh. oh shit. Damn it. Oh, this is gonna be hard now. Okay, okay. It, ah! <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, I guess it's time to cycle to the Vic Viper, the boring one, but... So we see every character once. I just always found it's it's option just very boring. It's just the dot. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> I got too greedy. I was doing okay. I kinda uh, had everything happen at once. You know what, that's fine. <laughs> Fuck, I went too low. <laughs> I don't... Ah, uh, the Viper's just... It can be difficult with certain stages. I wish I had the Penguin right now. The Penguin and the spread shot would be useful here. This stage is, is nightmarish if you don't have weapons. Oh crap, I got reset! Oh no. <laughs> yes, losing the power is, is uh, very sad. Especially when it's on a stage like this, where just... Ah, oh, damn it. No, I, I have to swap characters. The Vic Viper's just too much on the back foot here. We're going Penguin. Penguin. Too slow!
Just ride away. Ride away. Near the bottom. Oh. oh God. Okay, okay. Stop with the blizzards. I have to I just have to let this one run out naturally. I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. <laughs> that was quick. Alright, got it. Got it, got it, got it. And I've got power now. I just need the bubble, and then we're good. That stage is hard, but I do like the visuals of it. The problem is, yeah, I died. If you can keep your power-ups when you get to that stage, it's generally fine. Okay. Oh, this, this stage, I like the music of it. But it is it is a weird stage. I know that's it's kind of redundant. <laughs> Every stage is a weird stage, but this one even more so because of this. Yeah. The music as well that goes with this is just the contrast. It's kind of amazing. Oh, it's a pig! Yeah, the soundtrack to this game is great. The remixes. Was about to run out anyway. Shit, I should have used it. I was gonna use bomb, but then I hesitated. Oh no. Alright, well. Oh, that almost got me. <laughs> I just wonder what, what this is, honestly. What it's supposed to represent. Probably nothing. Oh, it almost hit me. Okay, well, I was so close to the boss as well.
Right. So, prepare for noises. I can't describe, it's like, the noise that she's making and then just babies coming out of her fingers. The chat is, is this how babies, baby is formed? How, uh, how is Baba formed? The chick made you buy. Oh dear. I mean, it's fine. Stop, please. Ah! Okay. Baby penguin, thank you. Oh, I did. I, uh, do you know what? Again, adding to the, I just don't like ice stages. This, this may be another reason why I don't like them. This may be a reason I don't like them. <laughs> why do I have to say it like George Costanza? Georgie's getting mad! <laughs> I don't know. Jerry! Shit. <laughs> it's a little Costanza in all of us. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely stuff that he, uh, he talks about that I can relate to. I haven't been hit by anything. I just like when he just says the opposite of what he's thinking. Because every instinct he's had is wrong and then everything just works out for him as a result. This is probably a liability, but I kind of had no choice. You don't want to go too fast in this. Getting the points. Ugh, alright. This this boss is uh oh my god. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Just 
with anxiety. Okay, it's fine. I'm trying to remember what comes after this. I think we're up to spooky skeleton stage, which, whilst visually cool, it is tough. Timing. This is good points. Yeah. Oh, prepare for sniping. This was the stage that I struggled with the most as a kid. This is where Octo really pays off. Just because the missiles hit the ceiling. Damn it. I may have to swap to double shot, just so I get my coverage. I should have done that when I entered the stage. I had the chance. I didn't. Alright, and now... Let's just do that, just get some easy stuff. You love that they take their skull and throw it. <laughs> it is amusing. Well, it didn't really give me that much of an advantage, but... Okay. Oh, I'm a bit slow. Yeah, I, I don't like the name Penji, it just sounds wrong. Also, how cute is the little umbrella? <laughs> I love the little umbrella. All of them get it. I was going for option. Okay. Desperate speed ups. Probably shouldn't have done that. It's okay. Alright, we're good. Kind of back to normal. since we're at the boss anyway. These, I thought, looked really cool because, like, to me, this was like a 3D game. I was like, oh, oh damn, they're 3D. <laughs> Ugh, damn it. They're kind of hard to fight. I'm not sure if I'll get it done on this life. See. Okay, got it. I just need missile. 
good timing. I'll try and get res as rid of as many as I can with this. Get rid of the skeletons. Alright, now just hope no more skeletons. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Okay, I, th I think we're good. Oh, right, the boss. This is the actual boss. Ooh, I'm not fast. Alright, there we go. Ugh, I can't get enough of that. I'm going to speed up. This music is great, I love it. It's, I don't know, happy place. I don't mind this, get it. Teeth in my soup! Traffic jam! Toaster overheated! Bed and breakfast? No sushi tonight? <laughs> oh, the bathhouse, yeah, yeah. I like the stage, it's, again, because it's just so weird. And, I mean, the penguins being on fire, like, what is going on in this bathhouse? I'll stick to this for now, just because it covers the ceiling as well. Spread gun does more damage, but it's just, it leaves you in a pretty bad spot. And I know this stage has stuff on the ceiling, so. Oh, that was close. Oh, I thought it died. <laughs> Alright, but now it gives us a chance to swap. I'm going Twin B again. Just cycling through them. I do appreciate that this gives you unlimited continues. I'm using this right away. Twin B is very well suited for this. Once I got three way shot, it's just comfort zone, you know? I 
imagine you always have to start at the beginning. I would imagine the NES version of this game might do that. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, okay. Traffic jam. Teeth in my soup. Got a stink foot. Yeah, the thing is, I'm pretty sure the NES version of the game only came out in Europe and Australia. It was one of those weird ones that did not come out in America for some reason. Fuck. I've been morbidly curious about the NES version of this. I need a jackpot, so then I can give myself the... the triple. I didn't know that was an NES version. Yeah, it was one of those rare circumstances where a game did not come out in America. There were a few of them. Um, usually it was the other way around, like Europe was the, the region and Australia that got screwed over <laughs> in terms of releases, but um, there was this, there was, I believe Popeye was another game that didn't come out in America. Um, there was a few other ones that were, for some reason, just exclusives. This, this also came out on- this, this game has come out so many times, so... You know. I'm sure there's a PlayStation version, I wouldn't be surprised. But I played this one. This is my childhood copy of the game as well. It's, I'm kind of curious when I get to Donkey Kong 3 if, like, the save files are still there for me and my brothers. I don't know. They might be. Yeah, I'm going tail gun. It's just, I need something to defend. Oh, these sharks are such a nightmare. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know when Donkey Kong will be. It's just... It'll happen at some point. Honestly, I just want to double up my efforts to get Zelda completed and then that's it. It's like, well, I've played basically every Zelda game, so... <laughs> You probably won't ever see it again. <laughs> I thought the Vic Viper was gonna help, but it didn't. I mean, Twinbee, sorry. Let's try you. I mean, I'm getting there. We're nearly at the end of Tears of the Kingdom. It's just whether or not I want to find all the Koroks or not. I'm still on the fence. And, uh, I'm still deciding about Final Fantasy- Final Fantasy 16. Cause that's- that would be like another lengthy time commit. Never again, what about when a new Zelda game comes out? Well... Yeah, I mean, there's that, but that's not gonna be for ages. Like, in the sense of retro games, I'm, I'm not going to be playing Zelda games because I've done them, so it's like, it's set a good foundation of retro playthroughs. 
I mean, excluding the three. Ah, the three that I uh, I didn't get to play for various reasons. Was it three or two? I can't remember. Uh, I'm gonna use the bomb when I get up to that point. Still think I should try Kingdom of Hearts. Yeah, the problem is... Ugh, they're just big time commits, that's the problem. Because generally speaking, what happens is like... When it comes to time commits, whether it's because the game is long or because the objectives I have to do are like, um, you know, lengthy. There comes a certain point where like, there's always someone that's just like, oh yeah, you've been playing too much of this game lately. It just happens every time. Like it happened with Risk of Rain, it happened with Yakuza. What else? Terraria, Stardew, like, just... Ripple. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So I tried, with the exception of Zelda, because that is a series that I have personal excitement for. I try not to go too heavy on something that's like a, a series. <laughs> I haven't played any of them because they released on the PS2, I believe, and I just did not have one. And initially, and then the PS3 didn't... Whilst we did get one, didn't really buy games for it, so kind of expensive. So in that era, like the Wii got all the attention. No, I mean I know I know you can't please everyone. I'm not I'm not trying to, but um Sick time! Ugh, shit. At the same time, you know, I do value people's feedback. <laughs> And sometimes that stuff serves as a reminder, like I forget. It's like, oh yeah, you know what? I have been playing this a lot. Okay, I have a bomb this time, it'll be fine. Feels like I've played Zelda for ages now. Well, it might feel that way because Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom take place in the same world. I just fucked this up again. No, we're fine. Um, so it might feel that way because Breath of the Wild took a month to complete and uh, Tears of the Kingdom is going to take roughly that, if not longer. But I mean, before that, the yeah, I was playing a lot of Zelda games, but each one was different. It wasn't, it wasn't quite the same game every time, like... Some of them were 2D, some of them were 3D. Oh, right, this thing. But it could also be that. If you're not into Zelda, it's just not going to gel with you. But I mean, it's just one of those things that, like... It was really only the last three months that I was like, okay, no, I have to get through these Zelda games. Because I just wanted to get through them. But before that, it was, it was pretty split. I had a Zelda game and then I was always doing something else. And I did take a break from them for like three, four months. I guess that's the thing. When I'm playing something that you don't personally enjoy, which there's nothing wrong with it, you tend to notice when, oh, he's been playing that for a while. Versus when I'm playing something that you enjoy, but it's like a big time commit, you don't tend to notice it.
I played. I think I played more Stardew Valley than Zel than Breath of the Wild, <laughs> to be honest. I think in terms of raw hours, Stardew ate more time. Because the vods for that, that's like, it's over. It's over 50 vods. Stardew. It's over 50 VODs, whereas in Breath of the Wild was like 20-something, I can't remember. Or 30, it wasn't as much. But see, some of you will say more Stardew, but then someone's gonna be like, Man, you've been playing Stardew a lot. It's just... I know I can't please everyone, but ultimately, like, I... I do listen to that feedback, and I... It somewhat affects my decision making in terms of what to play. It makes me more aware of the fact that, okay, maybe I should throw something in there. It's been a while. But ultimately, like, you know, as with Zelda, I wanted to play those games and I played them. It's something I wanted to do. Because it's just a lot of those games formed a massive part of my childhood and then young adulthood, just like, you know, starting to get independent. Yeah, I'm gonna swap characters again. Alright, I'll try the Viper again, because I feel like I didn't give the Viper a fair go. I should play what I feel like playing. Yeah, no, I do that. I do- I really do. But, you know... It's one of those things where... As much as, yes, it is my stream, it's like, at a certain point, the ownership isn't just mine, it's like, also ownership of the community that I foster. It can't just be a thing where I'm, like, the owner of this. It's... It goes beyond me. So I have to take take it into account. If I, if I genuinely won't enjoy a game, I won't play it just because chat's asked me to. Let's, let's put it that way. Can I linger on the ship next time, provided I have a game over? Yeah, don't worry. It's, this is just... I... Look, it's just something that I like... It's just, I always want this to be as the best it can be. And to have people interested in the stuff that I'm doing, but also, you know... Wow, that was... that was clutch right there. <laughs> but also, of course, enjoy myself, so it's always that balance of just... I want people to be interested in the stuff they're doing and feel like they're being listened to when it comes to suggestions. Oh, the sp oh, the movement speed is so bad. The movement speed is so bad. <laughs> I just could not avoid the bubbles. I was close. It was almost dead. I have to invest in speed up, otherwise it's just... Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. This is rough because basic shots in this situation, yeah, it's not easy. And you have no choice but to invest in speed because you need to avoid the bubbles. Oh my god, that is brutal. Alright, there's a the game over. There you go. We'll have a drink of water, actually. Go back to the penguin. I don't think any of them have a better shot. I think they're all kind of equal footing on their basic shot. Yeah. 
but it, this is this is very brutal. From what I've heard, Final Fantasy 16, it's an isolated story and you don't have to know anything about the previous entries to kind of get what's going on. And the tone is more like a movie, so that's why I've been leaning more towards it. It's also gotten very good reviews already, not that that sways me that much. Sometimes reviewers get it wrong. Sometimes they get it very, very wrong. <laughs> Got it. Good old reliable penguin. Reviews can be bought. Yeah, it's not that they're bought, it's just they're, I think, afraid of ramifications. Like, if they give a bad review, then said company won't give them copies of the game to review later. Like, uh, future games, I should say. That's why IGN is the way they are. It's like, oh, I vomited when I played this stage. Made me physically ill. 8 out of 10. We're at the end here, by the way. The playthrough- Yeah, yeah! Hey! It's very quick. The penguin panic. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. Going for double because we need we need a ceiling shot. The spread is whilst the damage is is useful. Yeah, I can't leave myself vulnerable here. some of the visuals. Uh, go under. <laughs> Ooh, I may have forgotten. I may have forgotten. Oh, did I fuck up? Ah! Uh-oh. I can't remember if the water damages you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Dickhead penguin. Uh oh, now it's even worse. <laughs> there we go. 
Oh, it was a bell. It wasn't a power up. I oh, I need speed. I can't. I can't play like this. Okay, again, I'm going the Vic Viper. I just feel like I haven't played it at all. I just die too quickly with it. It was my least favorite. Alright, come on. Come on, you bastard. There we go. Speed up. Oh yeah, right. The tentacles. I didn't go through quick enough. I don't know why I tried to kill both. Get it! <laughs> right. I think I died right at the part where the shower head got past me, so... There we go. There we go! This- this always confused me as a kid, chat. And you know why? Because it does nothing. So, me and my brother thought that we were doing this incorrectly, like finishing the game, but it is genuinely like a joke. Because the way the game ends, it made me feel like I made a mistake. Just, just th this ending. I always felt like, no, this has to be the bad ending. Yeah. But it, <laughs> it just, just felt like a bad ending to me. All right, well, yeah, that was, that was it. <laughs> that's, that's Parodius. It's, it's a short game, but it, it's replay value is, uh, it was high for me. I enjoyed playing through this. Yeah, that, that's it. That, that's it. <laughs> it's a short game. That's why I, I played it. Um, because can get through it in about an hour, more or less. Just over an hour. It can be it can be much longer. Um, but you know, you start here again, and it, it throws you back in. I don't know if there's any any difference or if it's just a loop, but um, I never really bothered finishing it a second time. Like if this is New Game Plus or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not too bad of a game. Like just from a length perspective. It was good for those times where like my mom was like, alright, you can only play for an hour. That's cool. We can probably finish this game in roughly an hour. <laughs> anyway. Let me hit the reset button. We can see the intro as I as I do the... Wait, what? I forgot what Lollipop was. What the fuck was Lollipop? What was Lollipop? No, these were very good visuals for its time. 
Lollipop stage start. I don't remember this. Why don't I remember this? What is this? What on earth is this stage? Oh. It just, it doesn't end your life. Is this just like an endless mode? It doesn't seem like we're reaching a stage. Why does this ring a bell so much? I mean, this is definitely a different stage, so I genuinely don't remember where this leads. Ooh, this is dangerous. Shit. <laughs> no sushi tonight. There gotta be things that are lost in translation, I think. Okay. Okay, Satan, calm down. Crap! It's game over. Okay, I remember this now. I didn't really get far in lollipop mode. It was the survival thing. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that was, uh, Parodius for the Super Nintendo. A very good little, uh, little game. I mean, this is the kind of shit that I would love to come to the Nintendo Switch Online service, but it just... I don't think it will. I just have, I just have this feeling that games like this because you know they're owned by konami and stuff that's owned by capcom they'd rather release their own collections than allow nintendo to put it on their service i think there are a few exceptions but uh in general like stuff like this they're just gems in the super nintendo library and i mean it's been it's been how long since uh super nintendo games were added to switch online anyway hope you enjoyed uh me just quickly playing through Proteus. I was in a in a bit of a mood, so I wanted to play some of this. Some of this it was fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for clicking. If you're watching on YouTube later, and uh, buttons for algorithm purposes and whatnot. So, or if you want to say something in particular, yeah, be sure to uh, drop a comment, and I'll give it some consideration. Bye, Egypt.